So I'm going to hand straight over now to Christian Meindertsma, who's a very recent graduate from Eindhoven and has been very, very successful in a very short space of time with her work that she did there. Um, yeah, so I thought to give a small introduction, the best thing would be to start with uh, my graduation work from 2003. Uh, it was a collection of sweaters made from one sheep. And the idea that I had with it is to tell something, to make a product that would tell something about where it came from. And um, I thought that was important because most products around us don't tell anything about where they came from. And we're all very much into taking better care of the world. And, you know, but if you don't know anything about something, it's very hard to, um, yeah, to take better care of what lies behind it, who made it, where it came from and all that. So, um, but then um, I thought, well, you can design a product and then start telling how it was made. But I thought, what if you start uh, with the animal and then look where it goes? Which was, a, for me, an exciting question because it, I didn't know where it would take me. And, uh, well, I, it took me on a sort of a three-year journey uh, finding where this pig with number 05049 ended up in. And... This picture uh, I like because um, actually I found 183 products, but what was really strange is at a certain moment I felt like I was the connection between um, the farmer and, um, well, here you can see like the pig and all the, uh, the lines connecting to the end product. And what is strange is that farmers have no idea what happens to their pig. But the consumers, on the other hand, have no idea that they're actually, I mean, they're washing their hair and that there's pig in the shampoo. So, um, yeah, then, then that felt like, um, yeah, like, like a really fun thing to do, to find all these connections between the product and uh, where it came from. So, um, yeah, so I thought that was a enough introduction. Thanks, Christine. And this, this book won kind of every prize going. And I think I was on the jury of the Dutch Design Awards that year, and we gave you three prizes, didn't you? I think because everyone, this is onto the idea of the designer as a translator, or I would say the, maybe the editor, the person who looks at a mountain of information and says, no, I'm going to choose this, 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 and this. So, uh, Christine, what, what did you, did you, do you make a conscious decision to look at what a pig gave us and to put that into a book, or did it sort of emerge through a journey of discovery? Well, the the, uh, the so were you an editor or were you an explorer? Uh, both, I think. But it's really um, it, it makes the exploring nicer, and you can be more thorough if you have like a good sort of frame around what you're going to explore, because then you can really explore each corner of that frame that you chose. So, but actually, the first idea was to follow one cow, but then yeah, along the way, I found out that the pig would be more interesting because in the Dutch countryside, if you are driving or you're in a train, you always see cows, um, but you never see a pig, which is really weird because there's about uh, 12 million of them in the Netherlands on like 16 million people. So that's really a lot. So it's like this really abstract, large figure of animals that you never see, which produce so much uh, product. And Christine, when you were at the Design Academy, you and, and your fellow students, did you did you feel like completely liberated? You didn't feel any obligation to, to, to make products. You, you felt that you could take any starting point and go anywhere with it, and there was the freedom to do that, and you didn't need to follow the job description. Um, uh, no. <laughs> well, I, I, when I graduated, I, I think I was very much expected to design products, and I also got some... Uh, yeah, I, not everybody was as happy with a book... Uh, because it, w it was at the time, because I made a book about all the objects taken from people in Schiphol Alpert in one week, so everybody that took scissors or whatever. And uh, yeah, I made a book about it because I thought the book would show the idea best, but I can remember that the idea in school was that it, I should have designed a product or an object. So yeah, no, it wasn't uh, laid out. Like that. But why did you choose a book? Because I'm in the end, yeah. Uh, you could have made a, a movie or a website. Well, it could have been a website. I think it was yeah. more the photography. Well, I, actually, I didn't think this was not a planned. Uh, mm. I just, I, I was just really, I found out that you could actually find these objects or buy them in an auction. And then I yeah. bought it and I thought it was the most stupid thing I've ever done. Yeah. And then along the way, I had like a, 14 friends helping to sort out these uh, 3,264 items. And by sorting them out, we just found like this amazing area of 
different things and then I thought it should be a book because it was uh, it wasn't really planned ahead uh, but it could have been a website I think, or mm. any th any visual like photo photographic way of showing that yeah.